Hi guys, this is Peter Rodner here with another app tutorial. So here in this photo you can see it looks as if though I am levitating in air. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make this type of photo using the application you can download. So here's just another photo that we're going to practice and create. So here it looks as if though I have fallen and we have caught that image just perfectly in time. So let's get to it. When you open up your tab you're going to go to the Google Play Store and in the Google Play Store you're going to type in Levitation Cam Trial. This is a free application and it's what we're going to use to make these type of photos. So let's get right to it. So on my desktop already I've downloaded it and you can see the icon right there. When I click the icon it's going to open up to the camera and on the left hand side I have an option of a timer 15, 30, 60 or 90 seconds and this will give you time to get into the photo for your second shot. On the right hand side you have your photo picture so when I click it it's gonna take five seconds and it's gonna capture everything in the screen so that's our background photo now you have 15 seconds and you need to get in place within this amount of time because the camera will automatically take its second picture so here I am trying to set up myself make sure it looks as if though I have fallen and the camera will take its second photo when it takes the photo it'll switch its view to a horizontal view now there in the top you have several tools that you're going to be using the first tool on the left is the zoom in and allows you to move around the picture and get in close to the photo that way you can erase specific parts without erasing other parts the second tool this is where your eraser function works and you're going to be able to go backwards or forwards if you mess up as well as share save and x out of the program on the bottom these are the two pictures that we've taken so we're going to edit these in order to make sure it looks like I have levitated in air so in zooming in just a little bit I'm going to pick my paintbrush and actually it works better with lower opacity and I'll make the paintbrush kind of small that way I can get really detailed and close to myself and that way it looks like I'm really levitating so as you can tell as I just go over it it will erase the chair and the background picture will start showing up and it'll make it look like I am levitating obviously the better you do this and the more detail you take then obviously the more realistic it'll look like when you're levitating so as you can tell everything just starts disappearing so just to get into these smaller little cracks I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna pick a smaller taint paintbrush and then you can see there it's going to allow me to get really close and I can pretty much delete anything that might have made it look like I was not levitating and just some final touches here on the bottom here just make sure we get the chair out of the picture totally so that looks good for now so when I zoom back out I can take a look at it so you can tell that it does look a little bit different the color so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase a little bit more around it and that looks a lot better right there so now it looks like I have been frozen in time and I am levitating and you've taken a picture at the perfect moment I'll click save and it'll go directly to my gallery so let's take a look in the gallery and see what the pictures look like so here's the original photo and then here's the edited photo that we made so as you can tell it looks really good and it looks like we've actually made myself levitate so I hope you've enjoyed these tutorials and I'll see you guys next class